All right, now let's take a look on how we can graph y is equal to tangent of pi over 2 times x inside. So first, we are going to find the domain of this equation right here. And you see that y is the same as tangent of pi over 2x. And tangent is sine over cosine. And you keep the inside the same, OK? So this is the same as sine of pi over 2x over cosine of pi over 2x. And then for the domain, just like earlier, we have to make sure that the denominator is not equal to 0. So we are going to make sure that the denominator, which is cosine of pi over 2x, this cannot be equal to 0. And you know the deal. This x values right here that we get is going to tell us the vertical asymptote of the graph. So that would be helpful, right? So a couple of things you have to do. You have to remember cosine of what? will be 0, right? And you can once again utilize the unit circle. I will do this a few more times for you, because the more we do it, the more we remember it. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, meaning right here and right here, right? And then if you go past the direction, you will get past the pi over 2. And then this is going to be past the 3 pi over 2. And you know that here is the, uh, the thing you have to be careful. Earlier, when we have just cosine of x. We pick these numbers, that's all. But now this time, it's cosine of pi over 2x, right? What you want is, you want to make sure the inside, okay, let me just circle it for now for you. We want the inside, okay, to be not equal to pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and so on. So let me put that down right here, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and you know, you have a lot more, but let me just put on this too. Well, what's the inside? It's not simply just an x, it's pi over 2 times x, right? So you have to make sure you put this right here, because you have to make sure the inside turn out to be pi over 2 altogether, so that you can get the vertical asymptote, all right? In that case, let me just erase the circle right here, because I don't want to have too many circles. Pi over 2 times x, how can we get pi over 2? x is equal to what? Well, in this case, what we have to do is, let's just multiply both sides by 2 over pi. And then you see this is what we have to do, OK? So we have to multiply by 2 over pi. 2 over pi times pi over 2, we get what? It's 1, because 2 and 2 cancel, pi and pi cancel, right? 2 over pi times 3 pi over 2 is what? Pi and pi cancel, 2 and 2 cancel, so we have 3. And you see, if you plug in x is equal to 1 into the original equation, especially down below here, you will get cosine of pi over 2 times 1. That's cosine of pi over 2. That will be 0 on the bottom. That's bad. Likewise, when you plug in just a 3 in here, then you also get 0 on the bottom, right? Because it has the pi over 2 already, all we need is just the 1, 3, 5, 7, so on, so on, so on. Likewise, just like earlier, we can also go backwards with the negative angles. We can also have negative pi over 2, and then this is going to be negative 3 pi over 2, right? And you know the deal. Let's just put this down right here as well. And let me put that down first, negative pi over 2, and then negative 3 pi over 2. But then I want to solve for x. I have to multiply 2 over pi on both sides. 2 over pi times negative pi over 2 is negative 1. This times that is negative 3. And you know, these are pretty much, you know, keeps on going that way, keeps on going this way, all the odd integers. x, we isolate the x after we multiply the both sides by pi, I mean 2 over pi. x cannot be all these numbers, OK? So da 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 in the front, da 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 in the back. And here we go. We are ready to sketch a graph for that. So. Let me just get my graph paper ready. This time it's much easier because these are just whole numbers that have to label. This is 1, this is 3, and then 5, and so on. And then this is negative 1, this is negative 3, and so on. Okay? Here are the vertical asymptotes, so let's go ahead and do it. 1, 2, and then you can just do it as many times as you would like, but this should be good enough. And now what? 
Make a table, you know, when you have a table, it's much easier. I would really recommend you to do a table. X and tangent of pi over 2x. Let me just put this inside to be red. Couple numbers. Of course, you cannot go wrong zero. Plugging zero into here, you get tangent pi over 2 times 0 is just 0. So this is, again, 0. So we have another point here, 0, 0. And the reason I want you to do a point is because sometimes uh, you may have a negative in the front, so the shape may switch, the table will help you, will guide you, okay? Especially if you have like a 3 in the front or like minus 2 in the back and things like that, table will always work nicely. For tangent, just plug in these nice numbers. And what should I plug in next? This is 0, right, for the x value. This is 1 for the x value. How about let's plug in 1 half for the x value. When x is 1 half, you'll see we get tangent. 1 half inside, you get pi over 2 times 1 half. That will be pi over 4. That's 1. 1 half is here. Let's just say this is 1, so you have a point here. And then plug in negative 1 half, you get tangent of you know, negative pi over 4, and you will see this is negative 1. Negative 1 half for the x, and then negative 1 for the y. It's the same as earlier, but you see, what it does with the pi over 2 is that it just compresses, right? The graph is kind of narrow right now. That's all. So you know, that's why I'm going fast, because it's the same thing. Anyways, and you go ahead, connect the dots, and if you would like, um, just label the points on your graph, right? And do the same thing right here, you just kind of go ahead and do that. And yeah, the graph and tangent, secant, cosecant, they are cool because it's just really cool. <laughs> here we go, domain, it's pretty much that. It's a set of x value such that x, uh, cannot, okay, I'm just use the word cannot be odd integers. Spelled it wrong. Integers range down here, once again, from negative infinity to positive infinity for the y values, negative infinity to positive infinity, and then we are done. 